right, hello everyone. This is Joab Silva. I'm back. Um, today I'm going to start a series on 3D printing. Um, and this might be um, two or three videos on how to develop a 3D object and um, create out and transfer the object into a 3D printing software and run the 3D printer. Um, thanks again for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do it. It would be great. Uh, thanks for some of you guys who have been subscribing and watch other tutorials. Uh, for you who haven't, uh, it's a good way for you to um, keep yourself posted of the things that I've been creating. So here I am in Cinema 4D. That's a bunch of videos in Cinema 4D that I created. That's in a channel. I cover a lot of animation, but... Uh, I'm going to create a very simple um, 3D model in Cinema 4D. I'm going to discuss a little bit about the model. Um, it will be important for you to know, you know, a type of the, sh uh, the, the form of the object because that will play a little bit on how you're going to use this object in the 3D printer um, and how you're going to, you know, reuse this object again. Uh, in the next steps. All right, so let's just dive in. in. And uh, so I'm going to just use a prefab, a cube. I'm going to put here a cube on my, um, on my scene. Um, I pretty much don't need to do my, I'm going to do a lot with this. Um, but I want to just discuss a little bit the form. Again, that will be very important, okay? Um, and uh, let's see here. I'm going to just grab a, a sphere. Um, and I will um, add a sphere here. Just um, as just want to build a little bit of a stranger object, a little bit stranger just to, to have fun. And uh, let's just grab another one, another object here. Let's see one that will be uh, fun. All right, I'm going to get a cylinder. And uh, let's just move this cylinder here. Rotate a cylinder. Cool. And resize it a little bit. And let me see where I'm going to place the cylinder. Uh, let me see a little bit more. I'm going to rotate a little bit the cylinder and uh, right there. That's kind of pretty fun. It's kind of really a little bit abstract, a weird object. Not much into it, no meaning, nothing. It's just for the sake of the tutorial. So Please take note of this object and the things that I'm going to say. Uh, it will be important for you on how to prepare this object for um, printing. So what I want to do here, I want to just come to display. And I just want to see the geometry of each object. Okay. So you pretty much can see all the lines. Uh, okay. All the geometry. Um, let me just combine these objects. Actually, let me not combine them. Let's just work with them individually, okay? So first note that you need to, to think about. Um, more geometry, more uh, is smooth the object. Uh, there's a big benefit, for example. This is, uh, you can see that the sphere Little geometry becomes very geometrical. More geometry, more segments, it definitely becomes smoother, right? So there's a benefit of having a 3D model this way. You know, depending what you're doing, that's nicely very smooth. But also, um, in an it, it is an object that it's hyper detailed and it might uh, slow down a little bit um, 
your printing um, time. And this is because uh, there's more geometry, which really makes sense, right? There's more details. This, this is a very smooth uh, sphere. If I um, add another, for example, a, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of geometry here, there's a lot of segments. If I add a, uh, any type of effect into this, this sphere, you can see how fair this is, how complicated this gets. So for the 3D printer to print this, it will take a, lo a lot of more time than to print something like this, okay? So more details, more time, um, and they also the file that you're gonna be saving for the 3D printing, it's a lot bigger too because there's a lot more geometry versus very little geometry. So, um, so really keep that in mind, okay? Um, the 3D printer will do a really good job in getting a lot of details, but again, it will definitely uh, takes a lot more time. More details, more time, less detail, less time, less geometry, less time, okay? So have that in mind. Um, so I'm gonna go simple with this for the sake of the tutorial, okay? Um, let me just even make this sphere less geometry. All right, like this is pretty fine. All right, so that's the first thing, okay, don't forget. The other one too, is that this is an important one. And this, the, the, the clear example you're gonna see in the other software that we're gonna be using for the other videos, uh, this is really important, okay. So, really pay attention to this, okay. So as you can see here, the, um, the 3D print, the, 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 my image here, this, this 3D model um, has a sphere that it's attached on the top of the, of this cube, right? This modified cube, right? And there is nothing here. The way that the 3D printer is working, the, the, the way that the 3D printer works, I'm gonna show you how it works. Let me use one of this pyramid here. The pyramid will, will be a, a, uh, a good thing that, uh, that's an easy one to show by using this pyramid. Let me just rotate. All right, let's resize this. All right, the way that the 3D printer works is that it has a nozzle and I will explain more later, okay? I'm gonna show the views of the 3D printer. It has a nozzle that goes, keep moving like this, okay? It moves to on a X, 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 Y, and Z axis, okay? So um, what happened is um, it start building from the bottom, okay? Here in a 3D printer, you have um, a table like this where your object will be printed on. And this is the nozzle that start breathing, printing uh, the 3D objects from the bottom up. What happened to forms like this, like this, 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 um, this sphere that's not touching the bed of the 3D printer. What happened is there is nothing where the bottom of this sphere, for example, ha there, the, 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 is not touching, is not laying on top of anything. So the nozzle, when the nozzle starts um, running all the 3D printer filaments, instead it starts forming the sphere in this example here. The plastic, the PLA filament will start falling on a bat. So there is something that needs to be here under this sphere, in this case here, okay? So there's something that needs to be here. On a 3D printer software, we're gonna go over that. But as you can see, there's nothing here under, and that becomes a huge problem. So when you are creating your, your 3D objects, you need to pay attention on how, what is the, the best way to build your 3D objects. There's ways to fix, there's ways to run and to print this and I'm gonna to show to you 
but this can be a huge problem. So ideally, you would like to have something like this touching the bed. So, so plastic will not be the 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 nozzle of the three D printer will not uh, run the filaments on the air, but will run the filaments on top of the um, of the bed of the three D printer. Okay, so this is for you to have in mind. But for us to have fun, I want to go with the form this way. Okay, so we can play in, on how would be the best way to build this specific form. Okay, so um, so this is our form. Okay, this is our form right now. And uh, on a 3D model software, the first thing that I'm going to do here is to save, right? I have all the filaments. I, I have the filaments. I have the form. Everything is perfect here. Everything's great. What I'm going to do, the first thing that I'm going to do is... Whatever I need to get ready of it, I will get ready of it. I only have the tube, the, 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 the cylinder, the sphere, and the cube. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all of them to become one object. Okay. So whatever software you're using, ideally you want to combine. I mean, depending on what you're doing too, but ideally you want to combine so that it becomes just one piece. Okay. The size of this object is pretty big. It's like 63, you know, we can see here the X, Y, and Z is like 64 centimeters. It's like huge. It's really, really, really big. Uh, you can resize this in a 3D printer software. Depend, depends what software you're using. Uh, but if you really can't resize in a software, on a 3D printer software, ideally you want to resize um, here so you... Um, on whatever software you're using, so you have the exact size of the software that you want to build, okay? So really be aware of that, okay? Um, you want to resize it. Cool. All right. Uh, actually, this was the position, uh, not the resizing. You can see that's a position, but ideally, again, you need to resize the, uh, your object. Pretty much, you, I, I'm sure that you're going to be able to resize any other software. Cool. All right, so now that you have your 3D uh, model, okay, everything is built, everything's fine, you made the decision, you combined. What are you going to do now? You're going to save, okay, you're going to exp export this, this to a um, format that the 3D printer um, recognize, the, the, the other software you're going to be work with recognize. Um, so here there's a bunch of formats in the Cinema 4D, okay, there's 3D Studio formats, Alembic, uh, there are these Colada formats, Direct 3D, FBX, uh, GLTF, uh, there's Illustrator, uh, STL, USD, so many formats here, okay. In most of the 3D printer softwares, other softwares or 3D printers, accept OBG formats or STL, okay? OBG stands for object, okay? Or STL. What we're going to do here is we're going to work with STL formats because we have to rework this object in order to create another format. Okay, so X, uh, STL is pretty much widely used in 3D printers uh, and other so 3D printing softwares. So that's what we're going to go. Okay, o OBG2, but ideally you want to go with STL. All right, cool. So for right now, that's the video. I'm going to just save it. Uh, this, uh, you don't need to do, you don't need to scale, you don't need to do anything. Uh, you don't need to go to settings. Pretty much like straightforward, you click and you export that. Um, I'm gonna put here super cube and I'm gonna just save that my desktop cool all right so for right now I have the SCL file uh, please watch the next two videos one I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the 3d printer and the other one I'm gonna go the other 3d printing software um, and all the logistics okay so three videos all right so uh, again thanks so much for stopping by and uh, looking forward to see you in the next video Again, please subscribe to the channel if you have any ads. And thanks again so much for you who subscribed. I see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.